what's up everyone? Welcome to Pound for Pound TV. This is Michael and it's been a while, but I'm back! Coming to you Thursday the 15th of September is a No Limit Boxing event which will be held inside the Nissan Arena, Queensland. On the night, ex-NRL rugby player turned pugilist Paul Gallen will perform his swan song as he bids farewell to a professional boxing career. The controversial figure competed as a legitimate prize fighter and I personally think he deserves credit for his exploits in the ring which includes a victory over professional and veteran boxer Lucas Big Daddy Brown. A fight that I predicted would go Gallon's way but I didn't think he'd get a KO victory in the first round. Regardless, Gallon will retire on the night by fighting not one but two guys. It should be noted that they're also ex-rugby players but with not even half of Gallon's pro boxing experience. However, this video is about another bout happening on the main card. It's the co-main event between the enigmatic and charismatic Victorian Harry Garside as he sets to take on Cross Tasman Kiwi-born Miles Zalewski. Harry Garside might paint his nails or occasionally pose for social media posts in a frock, but what my generation back in the day may have labelled as a sort of quirky personality is actually a relaxed, laid-back and personable individual defying gender stereotypes as it's been reported in the press, and just as importantly carving out a unique path for himself, not just in the ring, but in life in general. In the ring, however, the 25-year-old is progressing nicely in the early stages very early stages of a pro career. So what's the hubbub about a fighter with only three pro fights, all victories with two KOs? The current Australian lightweight champ, 2020 Olympic bronze medalist and 2018 Commonwealth Games gold medalist shows promise as he develops in the pro ranks. Enough promise in fact for famed Aussie boxing legend and trainer Johnny Lewis to come out of retirement to train the young prospect. When the former trainer of world champions like Jeff Fennick, Kostya Zhu, Jeff Hardy and Gary St. Clair takes an interest, there might just be something there. The question is how will Garside handle his biggest test yet and is Johnny Lewis really on to something? Garside is just one of many of Australia's rising and established boxing talents, like both Zoo brothers Jai Obataya, Justice Hooney to Brock Jarvis Liam Parrow who will be facing each other in October, a fight that we'll be covering on the channel a few weeks out from the event. The point is, there's plenty of Australian talent, so what sets Garside apart? Fighting out of the southpaw stance, Harry bounces lightly on his feet, staying nimble and fleet-footed from mid-range and not from long-range like in his amateur days. Here he can move and counter or spring inside for a quick offensive before springing out again. Often still fighting with his hands low, he can let off short, sharp punches reaching his opponent before they can react. The school of thought in keeping hands low is yes, the opponent finds it harder to see punches coming, but defensively it's risky and certainly Harry does get caught a fair bit, although this tends to happen when Harry is moving to the inside. Harry also uses the ring space well and possesses great balance, no doubt a byproduct of time spent dancing ballet. Boxers with dancing background or influence is not unusual. Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson and Vasil Lomachenko, to name a few, have this in common, but before the name Harry Garside can be uttered in the same breath as these boxing legends, there's much work to be done, so we'll continue to watch and see what makes Harry special. Miles Scorpion Saluski will be looking forward to spoiling the party for Harry Garside and his team on the 15th. And with Garside getting over a hand injury, his left hand, I believe it may be an unknown quantity in the fight that Zalewski will seek to take advantage of. By all accounts, Garside is fully recovered and his training is going well, but any potential compromises will be quickly pounced on by a fighter who has some momentum on his side after winning his last fight by TKO and having a very short turnaround between bouts. In fact, this will be Zalewski's third bout for the year with enough time left over for another one. It's Southpaw versus Orthodox, so both fighters will be wary of each other's backhand. But in terms of power, I would have to give Zalewski the edge as he's demonstrated that he has that concussive knockout power. If ever there was a name more fitting to aptly describe an event or moment, it's when Lee hard as fuck was knocked the fuck out by Zalewski when they met back in 2021. Zalewski doesn't just possess power, but he also moves well around the ring and sets up shots intelligently, as he did before knocking out Fook, who is also a southpaw like Garside. However, whereas Fook was a stationary target, the same can't be said about Zalewski's upcoming opponent. Zalewski sounds like that's what he intends to do, knock Garside out, and I suspect it's more a matter of if the opportunity presents itself rather than actively seeking it. 
because he'll have to be patient in there and time Garside when he steps inside the exchange and maybe catch him with a counter. Garside is more aggressive as a pro than he was in the amateurs, and so Saluski will no doubt get his opportunity. But Garside is cerebral and a decent counter puncher himself, and combined with his speed, Saluski will need to get it right when he lets his hands go. Both fighters match up nicely in this, and no one expects a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl, but instead a more technical bout with some good action. If it's going to be a technical boxing bout, I think Garside will have the advantage. Saluski has 11 wins with 9 by knockout and 2 losses, both by KO. He's got the pro experience also and the power, but does he have the skill and ability to win on the night? If I'm wrong, I'm happy to vote for Labour in Victoria's upcoming election and keep Hunchback Andrews in for another term. Just kidding, don't be daft. But I do see Harry Garside taking the win. Like his mullet, all business in the front and party at the back, he will do the business in the ring and continue on his boxing journey. How far he'll get in his career is yet to be seen, and he has much to prove, but he should get over on points against Zalewski, who I can assure you will be no stroll in the park. Sorry, but not sorry for the Labour comment. I also won't be voting Teal, Greens, or any of the other corrupt champagne socialist commie parties. This message is brought to you by a staunchly anti-woke and anti-elite globalist individual. Please jab that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Check out our Patreon page to become a Patreon family member where you'll receive some cool perks. Looking for some new threads? We've got t-shirts, hoodies, and more, so head on over to our Michael A. Kobe Pound for Pound TV stores. They can be found on Redbubble and Spreadshop, so make sure to check them out. I've said for some time that life is a fight outside the ring, and like so many, I too have battled substance abuse, depression, lack of confidence, and all sorts of trouble on the streets and with the law. Yes, there was much darkness in my life, but I turned it around, and my experiences might help you to do the same if you are or have dealt with similar hardships. It's all documented in my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps, and it's available on Amazon, so just follow the link below. Thank you for watching Pound for Pound TV. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future updates. See you in the next one. Looking for somewhere to store your crypto? I'm not a financial advisor, but it's pretty obvious that cryptocurrency is growing in popularity and utility. And many folks think that they've missed the boat on cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but they couldn't be further from the truth. And if you're invested or looking to invest, CoinSpot has you covered. This is not a paid sponsor, but CoinSpot is what I use to buy or sell crypto, and it's where I keep my investments safe. Click the link below and check out the up-to-date and user-friendly charts and overall platform that is blockchain certified and trusted by millions of users. Follow the link provided and enter the code to receive $10 worth of Bitcoin just for simply signing up.